A little while ago, I made uh, this <laughs> drawing slash painting um, of, wait, basically it's meant to look like stained glass, but it's a painting. Uh, and I really, really liked it and I think it looks really good. It's actually right there right now. I put it up on my wall and everything because it's just so pretty and it looks so nice, but it is more on the simpler side. So I thought I would do that again, but make it a little bit more complicated slash detailed, I guess. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be trying today. Basically, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I have the basic drawing already down here. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see it too well because it is really light, but it is a mermaid, a stained glass kind of mermaid uh, drawing. And obviously there's like the scales and everything and all of the background and the hair. So there's like lots and lots of different things. Um, I, I, <laughs> I think it's gonna look really really good but it is a lot more complicated than the last one so I'm just gonna start getting into it we're gonna be doing lots and lots of different colors because every single thing I want to be uh, similar but like not exactly the same you know like with the scales it's gonna be like bluish green and like purple and stuff but lots of different shades of it so that's that's gonna be uh, hard to do I guess it's just gonna take a lot of time but I think it's gonna look really good. Okay, that was the easy part. <laughs> really, really basic, just like the entire thing, just one color. So that's basically just like her skin. Now it gets into the complicated part. Okay, we finished the bright red slash orange hair and I'm loving it so far. Now we're gonna move on to the tail, uh, which is the tiniest little bits, like the scales and stuff. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush because I really should have switched uh, when I was doing the hair, but <laughs> I was kind of just like getting into it, into the flow, and I just was like, didn't want to switch because that would have like snapped me out of it so <laughs> we're gonna switch to a smaller brush now and hopefully that will help with some of the details um i think it's already looking so good i'm literally so excited <laughs>
Okay. Oh my god, that took forever. <laughs> there were so many scales on her. Oh, okay, we're done with the tail. I think it's looking pretty good. I got a good amount of different colors in there. I kept trying to just do like almost every single one different, but obviously you saw that I did like a few of the same color and then like more like that. So now we're gonna go onto the blues and the sea background before we get onto the edge. And I'm gonna have to try and make a bunch of different blues. <laughs> Okay, I think I actually found enough blues, which is surprising. <laughs> it was actually really hard to find so many of just one color. But now we have finished the basic kind of background, I guess you could say. We're gonna do the outside of it um, a little bit more like, kind of like the hair, like a little bit orangey, but a mix of different colors. And then we get to move on to the bit that basically makes the whole thing pop just look amazing is the actual lining of all of it, which is the best bit, 100%, because it just, it looks so amazing afterwards. <laughs> so excited! <laughs> And with that, all of the painting is finally done. That took extremely long, but I was expecting it, so it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I got a little bit lazy at the end there with like the details around the edge. 
I this has been going on for a really long time honestly I just I couldn't <laughs> do too many details there I was losing my mind um but it's all finished basically I'm going to quickly now go around with a ballpoint pen and just basically put all the lines in um i'm not i'm not gonna put you through watching that seeing as you just watch all the painting that was the most interesting part now i'm gonna show you the final result here it is i absolutely love it i really have become really obsessed with the stained glass kind of painting look i just think it looks so so pretty and it's relatively easy to do um basically it's just like <laughs> colored by numbers kind of vibe i guess but you're making the entire thing from scratch i oh, i just i really really love it i think it looks so pretty um let me know what you think in the comments down below because that is going to be the end of the video so give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye